every day but one day it's not just to just dress me before the camera just just for a few minutes the things we, we see as common and then the third thing we need to know is that it is easy to make mistakes as essential that which believes not we can make small things look big what was it with them with porridge but as at that moment it looked so big it looked so big no wonder someone made a prayer i said lord teach me to know what matters at the end from the beginning because the things that matters at the end when you understand it from the beginning you are directed you know what you can exchange because you know what matters at the end is the bigger thing about your life is the bigger thing about your life no one but the children of israel no wonder the children of Israel, God had delivered them from Egypt. God had taken them away from slavery. God had taken them away from the place where they were suffering. But they looked at, it, uh, at Moses and they said, if you cannot pay for my basic amenities, I will go back to Egypt. And what did they call basic amenities? Water, shelter, cocoa, onions, asha, taparata. They were ready to give up the promised land for cucumber. They were ready to give up the promised land for onions. They were ready to give up the promised land for garlic. They were ready. What are you ready to give up for the little thing that will not matter in the next minute? For the little thing that will not matter next year? You give up your soul for a job. In 35 years, you have retired. How many times have we, have we exchanged temporal things in we have given temporal things in exchange for eternal eternal blessings eternal consequences it says to lay up lay up lay up lay up lay up treasures in heaven lay up treasures in heaven some of us we are laying treasures and so since we are laying treasures on earth we can do anything to get anything they say use what you have to get what you want it is a good thing to use what you have to get what you want but in what in what context what are the things and so you will rise to your feet right now and you say lord every profanity in my life every profanity in my life lord every profanity in my life lord strengthen my convictions of what you are giving on to me that i am not ready to trade it ah somebody they are different prayer points just pray pray as the lord as the lord releases you pray as the lord releases you say lord lord take away profanity take away profanity that thing that makes me see the things that are in me as all has come on take it away from me
to see and our hearts to understand. Let your heart desires be enshrined upon our hearts. Lord, teach us to know what matters most at the end from beginning. In the name of Jesus. Can we celebrate Jesus as we take our seats? Glory. Welcome your neighbor to the encounter. So you're welcome to the encounter. Glory be to Jesus. Okay. So that when we begin, there won't be any obstruction or a break of the atmosphere. I want us to do something first. <laughs> Jesus. Um, there is an evolution taking place in the house of Sophia Fountain. I remember when we started, some persons couldn't participate or join us because they felt Ah, well, people are so young, they can't be part of and people who are speaking like that are young themselves. You know. But here we are, God is lifting our people in career and maritally. Last Sunday was our wedding anniversary, right? <laughs> yes. And um, this year we have also celebrated the wedding of, of our own. Apostle and Ronke, right? Yes. We see have another one this year. <laughs> we see another one. The, the 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 striking thing about this one is that is going to be, of course, um, every other one is our own. But in fact, the ones that we have had, the I think we have had two. Last December we had one. The brother November, right? The brother is part of us. The sister is, is part of us. Uh, that is a brother to be and sister. Then we now had we had orders that the brother is from somewhere or the sister is from somewhere. Um, but this one we had two of them are part of us. A boss one. So now we're having another one. And this one, <laughs> this one is also going to be the first edition of of a wedding that will be Every almost everything is by Sophia Fountain. <laughs> what, I see, what I see almost everything is that we are holding this we are holding this wedding at Sophia Fountain. Yes. Yes. Uh, for those who may not know why, um, because of the level of there is a of course if you have been attending, you may not understand this. Understand this this detail. We have primary audience and secondary audience. There are people that, of course, we are interdenominational. Keep it low. We are interdenominational. Um, we would say that we are not a church, but that does that doesn't mean we are not part of the church. We have every right that every church has. Every when I say every, I mean every. One, we are registered with the government. Right? Yes. And also, we are part of PFN. We are we are fully part of PFN and we are under can. That is the right that every church, every, every church has. The only difference is that our, our modus of operation is interdenominational. That's what differentiates us from the church. There are people that this is their primary place of service as much as they attend. Like I attend reading with my family, but this is my primary place of, of, of um, service. So there are people like that that because of their commitment to the ministry, they are fully here and we cannot bet avoid uh, offering them all the responsibilities that the church will have to offer them. I hope you are following me now. So the, the next wedding, of course we, are, we have about three next year. Yeah, at least three. Yes. So this year, before this year ends, on 30th of this month, we are going to have a wedding of one of our pastors. <laughs> it's going to be one of our pastors. Pastors now. And also with one of our sisters in Levite, Sister Elizabeth. So, um, so this is um, this is so they, they, we have to be 
take them up. That is our that is our ways of uh, our or the process in this ministry. Please keep it low. I don't know where it's coming from. Just for me. So on thirty eight, that is on Saturday, we are holding the wedding in this hall. The force is now the encounter, so I want you to keep praying for them because you know Pastor Israel is their pastor at the bed, and the sister Elizabeth has been with the Levites. So the the wedding will be holding here. Um I will join them. So uh, and um, and it's going to be full time itself, full time everything that we are going to see how our weddings look. <laughs> I'm going to see how our wedding looks. So keep praying for them and also keep supporting them financially, prayerfully, prayerfully and all. I have to bring them up so that whenever I see them moving about and all that, just know that they are preparing their wedding. Is that okay? <laughs> you know, in this ministry, you are not permitted to see you with a sister walking about without explanation. You know, but when you see them, just know that they are, they are preparing their wedding, not their relationship. <laughs> so. God bless you. Just to show them to you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Let me see that. I will be teaching on spiritual exchange rate. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, do me. Oh, share the love and Oh, you don't go. Oh, shall you ever come? No. Oh, do me. Oh, shall you ever come? No. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you don't go. Oh, shall you ever come? Mark chapter eight, verse thirty-four. And when he had, he had called, called the people unto him, him with his disciples, disciples also, also, meaning that he did not just call, call the disciples, disciples to himself. himself. He called the people. That means that this message is not just for disciples, it's for all. And he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Let him deny himself. What it what means is, is that, that it's a call for self-denial. That, that if you must follow Christ, Christ it must be a process, process, definite process. process. One, One is self-denial. What is self-denial? Denial of your will. Denial of your will. Of your desires. Your journey begins with self-denial. You can no longer say, this is me. That this is what I want. This is who I am. So you hear people say that, I know myself, this is who I am. This is what I like. Jesus says, you deny yourself. And God does not possess someone here that you know possession, he does not possess. But there is a level of work you have with God where you are possessed. And this possession is it may the, the right one may not be possessed, but the right was that you are taking over. And this taking over is not by force, it's by self-surrenderness. You say, Lord, I surrender myself. And surrendering yourself means that you have denied yourself. And when you have denied yourself, it means that you no longer have yourself. That's why not everybody can say it's no longer I that lives with Christ. Not everyone. That statement, there is a legal dimension to it. There is a dimension of, yes, that you have given your life to Christ. It's no longer you who be Christ. But no, no, no. There is a dimension of ex the experiential dimension to it. Not, Not everyone, everyone can, can say it is no longer I, I that lives. You remember, remember last, last week we were talking about I. I. You remember I. I. Please, 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 please put your phone on silent. silence. Are you with me? Last, last week, on week on Sunday we were talking about I. I. You can, can be, be a pastor, pastor but it, it, it is I, I that lives. It is the I that is doing ministry. 
It is I that sings. He says, so I, I will not be exalted above measure. Remember? So, an agent of Satan was sent to buffet with Deny yourself. Somebody say, deny yourself. Hmm. You know, he said, take, take up, up I will take up his cross. cross. There, there is, is a cross, cross of Jesus and there is a cross, cross of believer. believer. The, the cross, cross of Jesus, Jesus is, is, is the finished works, works of Christ on the cross. Let me talk about the finished work of Christ. There is no reward for the work, for the cross of Christ. The, work, the cross of Jesus is by grace, not by works. Not by works. There is no reward. Now, what we only claim the benefits of the cross of Jesus. But when it comes to reward, that's why we have been praying, Lord, teach us to know what matters most at the end from beginning. Is that at the end, the essence of your, you know, the reward that God is going to give is not going to give you, you said, based on the cross. Everything that Jesus has done by the cross has no reward for the believer. You can only claim them by grace. I will know. And there is no reward for grace. So, when you are saved by the cross of Jesus, the next thing that you should do is that you carry your cross. You carry your cross. Why? Was Jesus seen, seen when they were stoning Stephen and did not save him? When they stoned him, the Bible says that he lifted up his eyes and he saw the Son of Man seated at the right hand of God. And he saw him, he's, I mean, he's standing up, brother. He was standing at the right hand. He, Jesus was standing and seeing Stephen when he was stoned and did not rescue him. Why? The reason is this. The highest level of our service, the highest level of our surrenderness, the highest level of our worship is death. That I may know him, the power of his resurrection, in our move order to the height of it, conformable unto death. You are conformed to death. So Jesus made sure that Stephen never lose that height of worship. And as a biblical study has it that Peter wanted to run away from, from his martyrdom. And as he was moving, according to his biblical study, he saw Jesus walking back to Jerusalem. He said, Lord Jesus, why are you still coming back? He says, you don't want to die. Let me go and die again. Have you ever asked yourself, why all the disciples of Jesus died terribly? Why? These are his men, his guys. So, so, if, if anyone, anyone is meant to have, have the, the best, best of himself, is his disciples. Guess what happened to them? To them? They, they died, died terribly. terribly. Just, Just as, as Jesus died, died terribly. terribly. He said, you know what he said? He said, he said, he will carry off his cross and do what? I can't hear, and do what? Follow me. Follow you how? Follow you what? Follow you to where? Follow you to where? Follow that, that. Follow, follow my, my example. examples. What, what I, I went, went through. through. Listen, Listen, the message, the message today, today is not a very sweet, sweet one. one. Is, is, the, is the main, the crux of our, our faith. faith. This, this, this month, month the God, God has, has been very intentional, intentional with us on the, the matters that he has been bringing to our, 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 he has been bringing to our notice. Issue of last Sunday was the matter of mercy. Mercy. Here we are, we are talking about a very serious matter. Because what is coming to this world, if you don't have this understanding and rooted on this matter, you will give up. You will give up. You will give up. He says, For whosoever will save his life shall do what? Shall lose it. That means that, that, that the, the best, best way, to way to lose your, your life, life is to try to, to save it. it. What kind of message is this? But whoever loses his life for my, my sake. sake. Now, now, this is it. You know, you know the Bible, the Bible is, is very intentional. intentional. You know, you know I, I, I wish, wish my Bible, Bible is, is, is underlined. Because I wish I could underline this thing now. 
he said, whosoever loses his life for my sake. Now, why this for my sake is very important is that everybody will definitely lose his life. But, but for whose sake? Because you, you, one, the, the one power God never give any man is the power to keep his life. Every man will lose his life. You will lose your life. Definitely. But, but now, what you see you cannot, why trying to keep what you cannot keep? Since you know you cannot keep it, what should you do? Give it. Give it. Give it up. Give it up. He said, for my sake, and what again? For God's foes. Aha. Because you could be saying, I give you Jesus my life. Give my life. For God's foes again. There's an addition to that. He said, it is this kind of people that will save it. So, how do I save my life? For losing it for the sake of Jesus and for the sake of the gospel. Some say for the sake of the gospel. So that, so that means that, that if you you, you are, are if uh, if, you if you are living without this, this and, you and you are not living, living for the sake, sake of Christ, Christ and you are not living, living for the sake, sake of the gospel, gospel you, you are on the wrong path. path. You are you on the wrong path. path. You, are you are trying to keep what you cannot keep. Whether, whether you like it or not, whether, whether you choose to spend your time for Christ or for the gospel, your time will definitely be spent. Some of you, all it takes is your job. Your job will take you all your time. You just discover that you wake up one day after 35 years, some of us are working in the government. After 35 years, you just wake up and discover that your time is gone. Your life is gone. Your life is gone. From morning to from morning to night. If this is same you that does not have time for God, you don't have time for Christ, you don't have the gospel. But, but, but ah, let's keep going. Because if you now see what they pay for your life, what is the pay for your life? Because they say is they say time management is life management. Your time. You see what Pastor Shinke was saying today about about this thing, about, about treaties. Time, treasure, treasure, what again? What again? Talent. Talent. You, you will spend, spend it. it. You will you spend your life. life. You, you will spend, spend your life. life. Either, Either for a job, job, for a relationship, relationship for, for marriage, marriage, for, for children. children. As, as far as, as life is concerned, concerned your, your life, life must be spent. spent. But for who? For who? Say so what? For what shall he profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Mm. <laughs> what is in this world really? Now, but now, have you ever seen any man that has gained the whole world? Have you ever seen anyone? Have you ever seen anyone? Seen anyone? In the scale of balances, what is what it means that if you put a if you put a soul of a man here, you put the whole world here. Eh? The soul of a man still has more value than the whole world. Some of you can't even understand this. To, to know how God values a soul, because He says if one soul is saved, the whole heaven. I mean, I mean, heaven shuts down, down to celebrate his soul. Do you know that Jesus would have died if it was just one man? That, that, see, see, the value of your soul, and we are coming back to this matter. The value of your soul is so enormous that even the whole world is nothing compared to your soul. That is how God sees you. Are you sure you are here? To tell you the value of one, how would how would no Jesus telling a parable of a lost sheep? Ninety-nine sheep left them to look for how many? One, one to show you the value. 
See, see. You, you are, are better, better than, than your, your job. job. Your, your job, job is not even the whole world. world. Your, your business, business is not even the whole world. world. So, so, so God, God could let go of 99 just for one. Oh, the reckless love of God. All these chases me down, down fast till I fall, leaves in 99. I could and earn it, I don't deserve it. Still, you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love. What makes, what makes it reckless, reckless is that, that why would you leave 99 for one? This is reckless. Reckless. He said he will sweep everywhere just to find a lost coin. Lost coin. Why, 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 why sweep it like that? But the value of the lost coin is also the same with the value of the coin that is counted. Are you aware? That gold, gold in the day in the mud is also, also valuable, valuable as gold, gold in in the stock. Are you aware? All it All takes it is to be found. found. It's to be it's found. found. The, the one, one that, that is in the, the store, store, it is it's only seen and celebrated, celebrated because it is found. found. If you, if you know, know the value of a soul, the value of a soul. You, you are more valuable, valuable than, your than your business. business. You may you not know, know until, until when, when the role is called up yonder, and, and you will not go and say, say oh, because, because, because at that time, that time everybody would have known the true value of a soul, including the value of your soul. Then you begin to wonder, you mean I am this valuable and I spent my life on something like this? Somebody say, but ah, my life is my life is messed up. My life is messed up. You, you are, are you whose life, life is messed up. up. You know what? You are the same without golden coin in the mud. The same value. The same value. That's why. Why would people who understand this will go to any land to, to win souls? Why? The, the mixing coin. The missing coin. Remember the story of the lost son, the prodigal son. Even though he was far, he was still a son. Do you know why we have to win souls? Because of the value of souls. But we are talking about exchange today. But we need to. We can't talk about exchange until we go. We we, we, we talk. Handle this background, background matters. matters. There was something Pastor Fina was sharing when he was praying, and I need us to still look into that matter. That Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. We need to look into that matter again. You know about Esau. Hebrews 12, verse 16. You know, oh, thank you, Jesus. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person like Esau. Profanity is that you, you have no value for sacred things. When you have no value for sacred things, it is profanity. For instance, you are sacred. You are, if you don't understand how valuable you are, it's a profane person like this. You know, fornicator. You are going to see this issue of fornicator. And now she was saying something about fornicator, and a scripture came to my spirit strongly. First Corinthians 6, verse 16. We are still coming back to this. First Corinthians 6, verse 16. Glory. He said, Do you not know that he who is joined to a hallowed is what? I can't hear his word. With her, for the two he says shall become what? One flesh. Oh, glory. So now that, what means that if you are one flesh with a hallowed, then where are you? 
Oh, you didn't get that down. Before you met a harlot, you were someone. As soon as you meet with a harlot, you are now one flesh. The Bible would have said you are one flesh together. If they would have been said that, okay, maybe you are also, the harlot is also of your flesh. <laughs> But, but he said you are one flesh, flesh with a hallowed. That, that means that it's going, going to be an, to be an exchange, exchange of a kind. kind. With a kind. kind. So you have, you have lost, lost yourself. yourself. So God will now say, Adam, Adam where, are where are you? Where, where are, are you? you? But, but you can't see me. He said, no. I can't, I can't find Adam. Adam. I am seeing another person. That has become one with another. So what happens to Esau was a matter of an issue of fornication. He exchanged a birthright. He became someone that is below. Whereas he was at, at the top. Are you sure? He said, move down to that Esau matter now. He said, what did Esau do? And, and what us to study this verse is very important. That he was 12 verse 16. He said, who for one morsel of food so this best right mm. Mm. so so how, how, how would you explain that, that? What, what happened that it was just porridge? porridge it's not porridge, it's not porridge. excuse it's me it's not porridge. not porridge when you're talking like this it's like you're not hearing me it's not porridge, it's not porridge. Ah. no be no porridge, porridge. So, so because, because is, is, who, who, you know porridge, porridge. you just you slice yam, yam and, and is that also? Sir, it's, it's not perfect. Right. Right. It's, it's porridge. Ah. Ah. Oh. 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 Because, because oh Lord, Lord have mercy. Because, because you think it's a physical thing, but it's a representative of a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual law I want to share with you. There's a spiritual intelligence. There is a spirit, there is a there is physical is is parallel to the spiritual. That, that. Hmm. Okay, okay. Yes. So someone gives someone a staff, physical staff, that's a spiritual authority. I, you know that kind of thing exists. The man, the man, he says, strike. He struck, he struck three, three times. times. He say, ah, he has struck four or five times. times. Remember that story in the Bible? Bible. Just, it was a physical activity, but it has spiritual connotations. Just porridge, but that kind of porridge is not a normal one. It's not just to sleep. That sleep, sleep. That, that particular, particular sleep. sleep. It's not normal. It's not normal. So, so in the realm of the spirit, spirit, that porridge was, was a representative, representative of birthright. And the guy said, ah, it's not somebody that is alive that can, that can carry birthright. He carried it and ate it. And, and there was an exchange. You know, there's a way this spirit thing works. This is pretty things as if it works. It was an exchange. But it so so you know the fifth files that the guy went to toilet later. If he had known, he won't go to toilet. You will not go to toilet, sir. He's my best friend in my belly. So people make permanent decisions based on temporary things. So, so you, it is ah oh Lord keep me. So you are it's a simple thing. It was just to sleep with a girl now. Is it to sleep with a girl now? And by that sleep that day, you have become one with a kind. Because it's a spirit, it's a physical activity, but it has a spiritual connotation. So how about so imagine, so imagine Esau, Esau explaining himself. himself. He said, Abba, you bear me, bear me witness. It's only porridge I eat. It's only porridge I eat now. What is porridge now? But it was... That is why you don't understand spiritual intelligence. Well, when we were children, of course, we are still young, but 
the are you with me now? You know, you know those, those Igbos, Igbos they'll be ringing bell, 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 bell. Those they were carrying plastic, bolo bolo. I don't know. I'm, I was trying to think uh, the things we used to exchange for those balloons. What did you use that? Eh? Shoes. Spoiled plates. Iron. No, no. Condemn iron. You carry condemn iron. You give this man, and they give you bolo bolo. And you are happy, 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 happy. happy. He's celebrating before you could go far. Bam! But the iron is gone. So, excuse me, excuse me. Let me understand something. The man that collected that condemned iron. Hmm? What is it to him that not be condemned iron? Then he knows the value of it. Because iron is iron, even though he lose condemned. Even the lost coin. Even the lost coin. People, people have exchanged eternal things for temporal things. They didn't even have to go far in life before the blow blow broke. Before it broke. That is why it is very important that you know the value of your soul. The value of your soul. What shall it profit a man? What kind of a statement is this? To gain the whole world. Ah, I haven't even gotten the whole world. I haven't even gotten the whole world. You know the whole world? Rose Royce is part of the whole world. Plain is part of the whole world. Plain is not the whole world. It's only part of the whole world. Gold is part of the whole world. Building is part of the whole world. Marriage is part of the whole world. You know, education part of the whole world. Yeah? The new planet is part of the whole world. Ah, uh-uh, sir. And somebody say, okay, give me a plane first. Uh, it's still part of the whole world. What God is saying is that the value of your soul is is higher than the whole world. Lord, can I see me just the way you see me? Because, because am I that valuable? Am I that valuable to God? How would God say in the scale of preference, scale of measurement, he is now saying, what shall he profit? Is This is a business term. Profit and loss. Profit and loss. Uh, my God, you know, birthright. God of God of what? Abraham, God of Isaac, and who? It have been God of Esau. Esau did not see it. So God, God of the universe that created the whole world. This is why you're not going to know the value of it. God that created the whole world will come and introduce himself. Do you know me? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. God? Is that who you are? That is who I am. Can you compare me with the whole world? God cannot be compared with the whole world. So you now see that the value of you, you don't know what is hanging. That you, the, the whole world cannot be compared to the value of you. You know what it means for me to introduce myself with your name? That's what the guy finished with porridge. And he went to the toilet. Oh, that's what's paining me. He went to the toilet. <laughs> hey, he, he saw went to the toilet. God, I wish you could find that toilet. To so see, let's take the picture. The toilet that he saw. <laughs> ah, if you know what people lose eternal things for, the, the painful part of it is that it doesn't look like it. Because porridge. All of you and none of me is what my heart cries for, Lord. May I decrease that you may increase. May you be the Lord of all. May I decrease that you may May you be the Lord of all. You know, the Esau problem was the Esau was the problem of hunger. Ah, uh, let's talk about it a bit. You know, there is so-called the threshold. Threshold. There are two kinds, there are two things rather that can bring someone to a threshold. Pressure and pleasure. 
pressure and pleasure. Oh yeah. See, you see that drama, ba? You saw that drama. Powerful. I was just watching. I say, Lord, help us. What kind of drama is this? Powerful. You know. You know. The guy. The guy. First of all, what happened? He lost his job or something. Oh, the the landlord. The landlord was pressing him. That is not enough. Somebody can still serve God with just landlord trouble. That is the landlord is just. Then school fees join. Because before every iron can break. But there's an amount of. Oh, should we talk about it now? Ah, we'll talk about it. Then when we read the story of Jesus, you are going to see these things. Because the enemy waits till you have reached the weakest point. When they think you have reached the threshold, threshold is that you have reached the bottom line. So, the, since the landlord matter is not enough, add the school fees. Since it's not enough, he lost his studio, his job. So they think too much. They think too much. And the enemy waits till you reach your threshold. He doesn't come the first day or the second day. It, you have to be fasting and be hungry for, for 40 days. When you are now hungered, the Bible says that Jesus hungered. It is when you have reached the threshold. That is why any time you are in trouble, watch out. There's about being a transaction. Plenty trouble. Ah, everywhere, pressed down on every side. But I am not what? I am not destroyed. The problem is that it's not the pressing on all sides. It's that destruction part. Ah, Lord, help us. That point of threshold, everything is not working for you. You know, trouble, 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 trouble everywhere. You go in the night, in the night, you want to sleep. You know, you can't sleep. Even prayer is no longer, you can't even pray again. You are worried. You are worried. Ah, sister, that moment is a delicate moment in the spirit. And that is when people make sheep decisions. Because when there is no more trouble very well yet, you can make sensible decisions. But at the point of threshold, sometimes pleasure. Ah, for the first time in your life, you have you have everything you want. Everything you want. <laughs> all your life, all your life, your parents have been watching you. Then for the first time in your life, you have your room. You can bring a girl in. Nobody can ask you any question. Nobody will know. For the first time, you have your freedom. And you know, this is this is where you know ah freedom. Freedom is under pre pleasure. Pleasure. This is a lady that was that was ah God. This is a lady that was doing well, serving God and all that. You think that she has made up her mind. You think that she has made up her mind that this is actually what she wanted. That she really wants to serve God. Not knowing that because there's no alternative. Then now she just got to school. Ah freedom, no parents. I, I, I saw one girl, just one school close by, that she just went. If you, I saw her, I did not recognize her. First of all, she painted her hair one color, then she wear one torn trouser. She wore, ah, ah, I say sister, not be just here you go. You know, it, ah, you mean, this is, this is, ah, this, so this is all it takes to miss it. Just an admission. You are that sheep. Ah, some people even go for that. Some people wait till they have a job. They don't even need a job. Just an admission. If you know what people lose their soul for, if you know how many people has really gained the whole world, how many, how many, what is the value of your soul in your eyes, not in the eyes of God? God knows the value of your soul. But what is the value of your soul in your own eyes? Do you know? What is your pride? A lady was sitting, sitting with a man, and the man said, uh, Can you have. Uh, eh? Can you come to my house? Right? And she said no or something. And he said, Okay, for 100,000. 100, 
He said, ah. He said, okay. He was trying to, okay, 100,000. He said, okay, okay. The man said, okay, what of 50? He said, oh, ah, why are you reducing that? He said, what of 20? He said, do you think I'm a harlot? I am for sale. But he said, you're already transacting with me. Because you're already pricing. When I say 100, he showed interest. I said 20, you are, but now I reduce it. As long as you are, you are prizable, you are also sellable. Yes. Because a virtuous man cannot be, cannot be sold for any rubies. That, that means if you can be prized, you can be sold. You can be sold. What is your price? Because there's a price tag seeking who to laminate it on. Somebody's own is power. You see it. You see it. We have to pray. We have to pray. Genesis 3 verse 1 to 9. Glory. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? This devil knows. He doesn't come with direct question. Actually, 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 it comes with the, the ah, Lord have mercy now. The matter now is not the question that Satan asks, it's the answer that you give. Because Satan knows that you will really even understand this thing now. You won't understand this thing. <laughs> Let's try Jesus' own question. Are you with me? Jesus' matter was in Matthew chapter 4. But we need to share from Matthew chapter 3. I think verse 19. The last verse of Matthew chapter 3. You will see. The last verse. Da, 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 da. We play what I can, I can let with. Now, are you there? Keep me. What is going on? I don't have this. Look. And suddenly a voice, yes, verse 17, thank you. Suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, what, is, what does it say? This is my beloved son in whom I'm what? We are pleased. Is that a question or a statement? Is that a question or a definite statement? Definite statement. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Chapter 4, verse 1, you see. You see the discussion now. Chapter 4, verse 1. Da, da, da. And then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into where? Why wilderness? Why wilderness? Because all these things that you say that, Lord, I love you, Lord, I love you. Your love must be tested. Though. It is one that the Lord, I love you, Lord, I can give you all. You know, it was last Sunday I was telling my story. Lord, I will give you my last Isaac. My last Isaac. God never waited the next day. <laughs> in particular, I was on a test balances. Because when he said, This is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. No problem. The whole heaven was washing, everybody was washing. He said, He took him to the wilderness. Why wilderness? Have I talked about it? Wilderness is the place where your conviction is tested. Where your conviction is tested. This con this your confession that has not gone through wilderness experience is not genuine yet. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Anybody can sing anything now. So we inquire, we inquire, and some people were singing some song. You are the love of my life. You are, I can't forget that story. The older I cling to, you mean more than this world to me. I won't trade you for silver or gold. I was washing. I won't trade you for riches on truth. Have you ever seen riches on truth? <laughs> I said, I can't trade you for Have you ever seen, seen silver? Oh, good. Sometimes I wonder how God feels when he hears you sing. So I told that guy, hey, stop the song. Do you know silver and gold? Why are you schooling? For each is untold. Don't, don't even go there. Mm. I say, are you telling me you won't trade it for silver and gold? Are you sure? If you are sure, I dare you sing it again. What is hung? Because we know now that's what we are singing without thinking. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done, you have to think first. 
Wilderness. Some of us are praying for deliverance from wilderness. God says, stay there. Stay there. Lord, deliver me if I deliver you. Ah, ah. Between the promise and the promised, it's a wilderness. It's a wilderness. Some of you, what you are praying for, what you are praying for, for God to deliver you from, is your wilderness. This message is not a very sweet one. <laughs> but you must hear it. All of you and none of me hmm, is what my heart yearns for, Lord. Hey, may I decrease that to me. Oh, may you be the Lord. Of all. May I decrease that to me. Increase. May you be the Lord. It would have made sense if it was Satan that led him to wilderness. Keep it low now, people. If it was Satan who led him to wilderness, he would have bind him. Can you bind the Holy Spirit? <laughs> eh? What is now the solution to a wilderness that it was Spirit that led you there? Which man of God can deliver you from the Holy Ghost? <laughs> eh? But guess what? Satan can deliver you. No, no, no. Satan can deliver you. Hmm. You should be the wilderness in the palace. Cry. So the person calls it breakthrough. But he has been broken through. Hmm. It, it, it is not now we are going to know. He said, witness to be tempted by who? By the devil. Who led him to the devil? <laughs> what kind of message is this? <laughs> it was the only ghost that led you to the devil. Because devil is also a vessel. Ah, in the greater house, you don't know. <laughs> because nobody would be able to do the dirty job. Satan has done the dirty job. Who, 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 which angel has that kind of mind to deal with Job like that? With compassion in their hearts? No, my wife preached a message. Purpose is in pain. Right? You need to listen to it. He said to be done the day verse 2. And when he had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. What's the next word? Afterwards, the threshold. <laughs> Afterwards, this they will wait till when when the guy is weak. When he weak. So anytime trouble comes and you and you and, and you compromise, anytime you find yourself in a wilderness experience and you compromise. You just missed a class in the spirit. Yes. Because there is no other time you would have written that exam. There are exams that can only be written in the wilderness. They can't be written in church. Can't you see? We are trying our best to make sure there is fun for you here. <laughs> are you not trying? Guess share covers and all that. So that you can be comfortable. Good music. Favor is doing a good job. There are exams you can't write here. This place is too comfortable to write those, those kind of exams. You know, yesterday I was at Okene's FC, Okene, they are a fellowship there. And I was talking to them about about Fares and Zara. Mm, Zara. Zara brought his hand and there was a scarlet thread in his hand. And people say, oh, this is the one. Zara, 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 Zara is the one. Before you know, and Faris came forth. And I was telling them that there were a lot of Zaras we met on campus. Ah, those brothers. When you see them, they, these are the ones that are going to turn the world upside down. Ah, 
one of sisters, a very powerful prayer sister, when she prays today, you just know that. We had to put a scarlet thread on our hand that this is the one that is going to turn the world upside down. But you know what happened? After waiting for husband, pleasure or pressure, after waiting for husband. Because I know what, this is that before you know, you saw what you started wearing, but Huh? Even those people who wear halots attire will say, Haba, Haba. Uh -uh. It's too much now. You know why? Pressure. Zara. He withdrew with the whole scarlet thread into the womb. Bible says, How has that broken forth? Talking about Pharaohs. You have to break forth. No, you don't come, you can't just come out. You break. Some people eat. It was pleasure that made them draw back. Ah, I, I have stories, far. I have stories, far. So I'm talking to you now, remember? You see, if you're just moving, this is weird that you to travel and pray together and serve God together. Suddenly, <laughs> oh, which one? This one find a very powerful job. Oh, powerful job. Then when it comes to when when we are praying, just be looking at us like, what are you doing again? Because what, what should he pray about? When he was praying for his knees and his knees are met already. What should he pray about? You, what would you pray about? When your knees are already met, you just be looking around. You know. <laughs> There's some brethren that we used to pray like that, pray like that. One day they, when they started laughing at themselves, they said those days of ignorance. When we just pray, sweating. And Jesus has done this all the time. Eased in Zion. So there are exams after war. The Bible says he was what? He was hungry. God made sure that he was hungry. Why? Stephen must go through that pain. He must go through that hunger. That is where you write the exams. Waited for husband and the people. That, you see people who just gave their life to Christ. Where you that has been. So is this not a time to, to, to use marriage as a, as, as a missionary journey to save an alhaji? You know, so that I, I can save him. So somebody that Jesus could not save. Nazana, quote unquote. You want to marry to save. It's called pressure. Pressure. He reached she reached the threshold. She reached the threshold. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Da, 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 da. And every day we are making transfers. You know, are you getting me? Because the bank you bank will ask. Are you sure? <laughs> bank will ask. Are you sure? Send. Send. In the name of the spirit. You know, I don't know. Is there send? Because Esau. Did they ask him, send? You know, my bank, I, I, you know, those of you that works in my, in my, you know, these are my people who work in my bank. I appreciate you guys. They will show you the amount you are about transferring. <laughs> the person's name. The charges. So fair. But when you say send, it's gone, oh. Hey, I'm sorry, sorry. It's the wrong number. It's gone, oh. And Satan does not send it back. He won't send it back. He can't say, Oh, I am sorry. I am sorry. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. I cannot cook another porridge for you. I can't even admit. Sorry. <laughs> it's gone. Successfully. Successfully. 
There are some successful you should be afraid of. We cry. So it was successful. So it was successful. You know, there are words that you should be afraid of. Things that are positive. <laughs> the doctor say you are positive. <laughs> Children, if they be happy, you will cry. This positive. It's a negative positive. I know, you know the devil, bar is a very tricky person. He just looks for one opportunity for transfer. One! Uh, one! You see, you are serving God like this, like this. He already has issues with him. All he wants is a transfer. Even if you repent, plenty of things will not spoil. Yes, plenty of things will not spoil. You will rip because how many things is going to push into your life? But just a little, little opening. But we are going to pray. Mercy, we are still bringing mercy back today. And he said, fasting for 40 days of and verse, and when and now, when the tempter came to him, he said, what did he say? If you are the son of God, remember where we are coming from? This is my beloved son. This is my beloved son. Then it matter nice. If you are, did God say? So, what I've always done is that he brings us question mark to definite statement. God say you are his daughter. He say if you are. Now, the statement that God made is important, but your response is what is most important. I what I'm saying now. God makes a statement about you, Satan questions it, what says yes thou? Because what the value that God places on you is not as important as how you see it. All the mothers, it's how you see me. After all the singing, after all the dancing, all the mothers, it's how you see me. You don't see like men do. You don't judge like men do. You don't. Please show me what you think of me. I want to know how you see me. I want to know how you perceive me. I want to know what you think of me. Listen, give me, give me a very what key is that? Eh? Give me F. Now, now listen. The prayer is that Lord help me see how you see. He said, if he said this is my beloved son, he said, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? That means the value of your soul is higher than the whole earth. And he's now saying, he said, then he's, Satan is, oh, Satan is will now bring a job. They say, if your value is, uh, how about this job? So, Satan always tries to question God's word in your life. Just to make you feel you are not as valuable as God says you are. So, you see me. Baba, show me. The way you see me. Please, let me see me. How you see me? Ta -da -da. Ta -da 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 -da. Now let me ask you a question. Don't you think it is better to die with your soul than to be alive without your soul? <laughs> think about it. After all the singing, after all the dancing, all the mothers, how you see me? After all the preaching, after all the praying, all the mothers, how you see me? You don't see like men do. You don't judge like men do. You don't. Please show me what you think of me. I want to know how you see me. I want to know how you perceive me. I want to know what you think of me, Baba. 
I want to know how you see me. I want to know how you perceive me. I want to know what you think of me. Baba, Baba, show me the way you see me. Please let me see. If the hunger killed Esau, we we'll think about it now. Should I die? Okay, now you are no longer dead. There was a vow of your soul now. Are you understand? Now Esau is alive now. Instead of living, he now just exists. Ah, so you see, you see. Adam and Eve running, running. He said, These guys are healthy. Everyone said they are dead. He said, The day you eat of the food, you shall die. And they ate. And they feel so happy like someone who ate apple. <laughs> but in the heaven scale, they are dead men. I think it is good that we study heaven's marking scheme. Heaven's marking scheme. How does heaven mark? Because we never heard that Adam fell sick after he died. He was healthy. So somebody knows that. Okay, look at it now. Look at it now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Can't you see that I'm alive now? <laughs> Who is lying now? Who is lying now? Because he's trying to measure by the parameters of this world. Heaven's marking scheme. I did a teaching like that about four years ago. The heaven's marking scheme. So, uh -huh. are you not married now? Are you not married now? They say, uh, if you if you if you stay with a man, you could inhabit with a man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You not succeed. Are we not married now? We stay together. We slept together. We did everything together. Are we not married now? But heaven say, ah, porridge. You 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 you. you is it because success? You are looking at ah, the process is more important than the result. Yes, it's more important than the result. The process. Am I not in the palace now? Am I in the palace now? They say you can't eat. Yeah, well, well, you can eat. You can They say if you eat king's meat, the king eats meat. You not make it. Have I not made it now? But ah, brother, brother, you have been contaminated. You have become a contaminated Daniel. Heaven's marking scheme. How does heaven mark? All the matters is how you see me. After all the singing, after all the tonguing, all the matters, how you see me. So one pastor, one pastor said, I was watching the video, the man said that he wanted to, he wanted the church to grow, and somebody took him somewhere. So they took him and he went and lay down on, 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 on the grave. Carried the blood of his child pouring on him and there. And guess what? In just less than a month or whatever, there was crowd. Crowd! Trunking into his church. What a success. Somebody will say, that's my mentor. <laughs> but heaven sees a torment ahead. Because he, he's carrying crowd, but heaven sees a dead man. A dead man. He said, they will even say, ah, Ah, your soul is more important than success in ministry. That ministry let it die. That ministry eh, that I have to lose my soul for, let that ministry die. What? what? People that you have gathered now, people that you have gathered now, that you want to be a blessing, quote and unquote. To. Eh? Is there anybody that I love so much to go to hell for? Nobody. It's Jesus that did that. <laughs> and he resurrected, he left. It's only Jesus that can live. <laughs> that I love people so much. I want to bless people so much. I go and cut do sham so that I can heal them. Mm. They will die with that sickness, sir. <laughs> they will die with it. If God cannot give it me, and I have to go to devil to take to seek help to do God's work. Oh, no. That God's work, that act must follow. 
<laughs> that act must force her. Huh? What? My soul is more important than ministry. Yes. Some of you, you are shocked to hear that. If you don't know that, you will do anything for ministry. Somebody, do, you want to do sham for ministry? Did they write ministry on your forehead? I'm not talking about sin. Yes, ministry. Like God's work. <laughs> no. You must do God's work. Eh? With your soul. You hand it over say, Lord, take it. Then use it. Use it. Not that you want to keep your soul and do any gimmick you like with your soul to help God. He said you must lose that, that your, you must lose yourself. You deny yourself. Then I choose what to do with yourself. So the person calls it, oh, he went to sin to, to get a car and he's driving. Why is this? He sees a car. Heaven sees a coffin. Heaven sees a coffin. Ah, you see me. Da, 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 da. He said, he said, if you are a son of God, you know what he said? We wait to prove you are a son of God. Command these stones to become bread. Uh -uh, uh -uh. What's the connection between bread and Son of God? You don't understand. Earthly things as a symbol of spiritual thing. What is the, what is the connection between uh, porridge and birthright? So you think it's a physical thing, but it's a spiritual dimension to it. You collected that money and you are spending it and you are eating. You are eating it. What heaven is seeing is different though. You went and collected money of evil, the proceeds of evil, and you are spending it. Ha! Ah, what heaven sees is different. It's just that there is no technology that can measure souls. Some people would have discovered that they have lost it. They would have discovered it. Such a prophetess. Such a prophetess. Great destiny. But if you even see the guy that she's transacting with, if you see the guy, hmm? if you see the guy, So you are singing, oh, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. And the guy is sitting there, isn't my girlfriend without him? Uh, I mean, you sing the song for me. And, and, and heaven knows. And heaven knows. That's the painful part. Heaven knows. We may not know, but heaven knows. The devil may not stop you from, you know, may not stop you from singing, but can divert your worship. You, you still have your voice. But it's a diverted worship. No, the matters is how you see me. Baba, show me the way you see me. Please let me see. Me. Now, you tell me now, it's not just a command stone to turn to bread. And Jesus knows that <laughs> he can do it all. He can do it. Ah, Jesus. Jesus does a stone. You don't say that in me, me, you are dead in me. Stone, throw the bread. I thought that would still with the bread. And you just rather be eating. I don't know. Is it me you are dead in? I think I was in just one year too. This senior wonder, I just said, no, no, we have the Lord will help us. I just wanted to use this in your head in a way. This is not I said, see, I can make you do anything. He said, Ah, this boy, your mouth. I drew a circle. As he enter. I want to show you. I can, I'll make you do anything. Think it's a joke. The senior entered. <laughs> is it me? I'll show you. Yeah. I said, see. 
if you do this, I'll, I'll is me? Put your hand on. Put your hand like this. <laughs> this senior, that's your guy. <laughs> I don't know. I give you everything already now. That's all. So Jesus says, eh, eh, I've not turned stone to bread now. I've not turned stone to bread now, Satan. Satan, I will show you that I can, I can succeed. I will show you that I can succeed. And sometimes it may not be Satan, it may be your friends. I want to show them. You think in this family nobody can succeed. So you begin to do anything possible to prove to them that you can succeed. Say that, say, Abba, you never do them. You never do them. Power. Show of power. He's now moved further. He's if you are. He's now moved further to save. Let's go. There's a good, we're going to verse 11. And he said, answer him, if it, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. It is written. It is written. Don't ask question mark. It's already written. That's why you must understand what is written so that you can say that this one is settled already. It's not something we should negotiate. But when it is, you don't know, Satan will say, as God said, but since you don't know it, you won't negotiate. So you now come to shake the tree, shake it up. Why did God say we should not eat this and So, sir, excuse me, I want to ask a question. What if what if I work in a company where you have to lie, but you are, you are giving your tithe? What if? But what if? And, and the lie is that the Bible says you have no authority. And I just want to what? You are asking question marks <laughs> to what is written. To what is written. If you, any, when you hear questions that people ask, you will know that they are standing before the tree. They are standing. They are already analyzing. The Bible says, when she saw. So, you could imagine Eve always coming every day and shake. How was the day? My day was fine. I already told you that I'm not interested. And I'm a Christian. That thing you are saying, I can't do it. I can't do it. Then you are the one still calling. Is this calling? How was the day? How was the day? You are standing before the tree. How was your day? It's just, it's just, we are just friends. We are just friends. You can't be just friends with serpent. You can't just be friends. You're not that strong. And it is written, mouth not only by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Verse 5. Then Satan took him where? I can't hear you. Satan took him. The next word. Satan took him where? Ah, you are not ready. Um, Satan took him where? Somebody say up. <laughs> he didn't take him down. You see him going up. Ah, promotion. Bolo, Bolo is missing. But now you are seeing that he's, he's flying up. <laughs> he's missing. Who is taking him up? Sir, this is your up now. Who took you there? How did you get up? Ah, what you call promotion? Excuse me, who took you up? I'm funny enough. You know where I took him to? To the holy city. <laughs> holy city. So, he didn't take him to the up to the to the club. Holy city. See, is this what I feel like? You can Satan can never tempt you in the club because you never go there. You think you are safe here? Your, your temptation is here. Your temptation is here because the temptation of the minister is a ministry. Say, but all of us met in church now. All of us met in church. Where would you have met the person? Say, we are brothers and sisters. Yes. That 
What is the name for boyfriend and girlfriend in the church? We are dating. We are you know, this is my fiance. No, I don't know how we call it here. Eh? We are cutting. Eh? It's my brother. It's my. But everything they do is the same with what those in the world do. Everything. He just said we are dating. We are cutting. Is a name for boyfriend and girlfriend in this place. It's the same masquerade, changing color. They're just changing uniform. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. You're, you could never go to. There are some of you here, you will never smoke, even if you're not born again. So, secret, secret can never be a victory. It's like a cat saying that, you see, you see, you see, I'm not a thief. I'm not a thief. You see, they sort to keep around me now. Did I eat it? Did I eat it? Oh, God, cat. It is when we put. What fish? Then we'll know. You, a lady that will wear bomb shorts can never attract you. It's a lady that will look well dressed and singing beautifully. Uh-huh. That's what your temptation is. I know this. <laughs> yes. But the most important is that you understand it, right? Yes, sir. Don't be deceived. The temptation of a holy man is in the holy city. Because that is when you make your own transaction. Because whether you like it or not, every man will be found at the point of transaction. Yes. Yes. And the devil took him up into the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple. Glory. <laughs> Lord, I don't like this kind of promotion. I don't like this kind of promotion. It is better. It is better. Huh. Oh Lord. You are the treasure the risk in whom I find my joy. I'll never let go. I'll never let go. You are the treasure that I seek. In whom I find my hope. I'll never let go. I'll never let go. Even if you say me or seem to delay me, I never let go. I never let go. Even if I'm lost, hey, at any cost, I never let go. I never let go. I never let go. The lady said, that, Lord, see, if all you will not give me, after all you have given me is a child, let it be. But what is the value of a child when you lose your soul? Are you telling me you lose your soul for a child? You lose your soul for a job? So I die. If you have to die in God, die. Don't stay alive. <laughs> die. He took him up. If you are, the same way that you are is still there. If you are the son of God, what is it? Throw yourself down. And eh, it is written, he shall die give his angels charge over you. There's a Bible, there's a scripture back up to this. In their hand they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against the stone. Oh Jesus. You know, it's Satan. <laughs> Satan is preaching the message here. Do you know how fast Satan can go to quote the scripture? Uh, the 
brother just just committed immorality, came out and you know. Ah, we shall let me start with the simpler one first. And a brother came to preach to him. Then they just that this guy is a womanizer, and I came to preach to him. When the guy started demystifying Rema, the, this is the guy that is a woman. He started demystifying. The guy that came to preach to him said, Man of God, talk to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man of God. <laughs> ah. You are shake me, sir. But, but this is the guy. <laughs> when they want to need salvation, begin to offer salvation now. Oh, that is it. Because the guy. When they just finished the guy, came out. And I just saw the, the guy said, Ah, possible. Uh, they shot, they shot, they shot. Enjoy the breast of the wife that you, you know. Let yeah, our breast satisfy you. you know, this guy was using Bible. He was using Bible. Uh, that you defend yourself biblically doesn't mean you have not lost the money. Is you have lost the treasure if you like use any scripture because. People can be missing it and be quoting Bible. They can be quoting Bible. Can you quote more than Satan? And funny thing about this is that Satan, have you ever heard that Satan lied? Huh? He said, he said, if you eat, you shall not surely die. You shall be like God. Even God confirmed that. Are you, are you not saying that? You have become like us. So God is Satan lie now. God, next time Satan spoke, he spoke speaking in major, many places. He just the next time he spoke, he said, Where are you coming from? He said, I walked to and fro. Is that a lie? So, where have Satan lied? Where has he lied? Where's the father of liars? Liar. Because he twists truth. He twists truth. So, imagine a pastor telling a girl that, I know if you sleep with me, it's a transfer of a spiritual virtue. You know, even God said, You know, see, see, sin is a sin irrespective of who commits it. I don't know. Irrespective of who commits it. Pastor. Huh. Father in the Lord. Father in the Lord. Did he die for you? Did he die for you? Mentor. 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 Mentor is touching you here and there. Mentor is touching you here and there. He says, my mentor. is my mentor. There's a transaction going on. What is going to pay you is that when we get to heaven, you discover that he is still standing. And if he gets to heaven, but wherever he stands, he's going to stand and give his own judgment. You young discover that there's no mentor in heaven. No. And I say, Oh, speak for me. And there's something my dad told me I can never forget. You can't even blame Satan. Because when the judgment time comes, you'll be on his way to Bob Dylan's pit. He's facing his own judgment. Somebody that is going to face judgment is a person to follow. Not to even talk of a mentor. Oh. There is no body. Biblical back up to sin does not make it scriptural. Oh. Oh. Satan was put in Bible, sir. Because they are uh, oh, I should tell you this story. When we went to when we, when we were younger, we went to the village. So I, I don't dance party song. And as because my father is a pastor, so we have this moral stuff. But my friends, you know, they took, they say we should go to party. You know party? I'm not saying party. And it's to my people. Party. But who knows the difference? Party. <laughs> when you dance, you know this night club, some of you call it club. Where else you call it party? You know? So the guy said, since we are really one, we came to village and oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. So we can't be alone at home. And I said, where all our my cousins are going for? So we went. We went. As since they were dancing all those things, I was sitting down and watching as a church boy that I was. But the guy ran to me. He said, hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. That's it. Oluwa, not all the kind of Oluwa songs. Oluwa, Oluwa, Oluwa. He said, it's a such song, it's a song. I see this Oluwa. <laughs> you know this Oluwa? Oluwa, go bless me, yo. Oh, no. I go spread the love. Oluwa, don't bless me, yo. Oluwa. Ah. That Satan sings you alpha. Does he make it a worship song? You are alpha and omega. If he's not alpha and omega, who is he? So does that make it a worship song? Eh, Satan calls Bible. 
Satan quotes the Bible, sir. And that's what makes him a deceiver. That's what makes him a deceiver. Without discrimination, just preaching the truth, there are places you go to and they are preaching the Bible, but it's not of God. Yes, sir. It's a place of transaction. Transaction of souls. You say, but they are preaching now. They are using the Bible now. See, Satan. Quoting to Jesus. Uh, let me also let you know that. Satan does not fear you. He doesn't fear Jesus. Satan cannot come close to me. Oh. <laughs> Who are you? You have not fasted for 40 days. This is a man that fasted for 40 days. He came from heaven. Jesus, the Son of God. In the wilderness, led by the Spirit. I had a 40 day fasting in the presence of God. Satan still came. So, you see, you. Satan is const you, your own is too much, self. Constantly talking to your heart. <laughs> constantly. And he's going to quote the Bible too. And that's why you need discernment. So that even when Satan quotes the Bible, you know, you liar. What you are saying is true, but it's not the truth. It's not the truth, sir. It's not the truth. People have lost their soul at the point of Bible study. Bible study. But transaction is transaction. I will let go, will let go forever. I will let go. I won't let go. I won't let go. Won't let go forever. You throw yourself. So you see Jesus. You see Jesus coming from the pinnacle. Woo! He said, "Great, great, 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 great." And to, by mercy, angels rescued him. I see now. You see now. Heaven mourns. This is unnecessary. Because you call it a miracle, but it's a misery. That heaven, heaven rescues him. Because you say, no, if God is not with me, how come, how come angels? How come angels? But heaven say, you know, it was it was Ben Carson, Ben Carson, Ben Carson. He was in exam according to stories. He was writing the exam, but he didn't read well. And while he was writing, he saw Jesus coming, and wrote on the board. <laughs> I'm going to study. Like he was in fellowship or one of those stuff, I can't tell, but he didn't study. And when Jesus was going, he said, I'm sorry to have made you go through this. Next time I'll be more diligent to study. Somebody would have said, Jesus, I don't need to read again now. Jesus is there for me. Just keep on keep. And Jesus, everyone is like, how long shall you be at this level? There are things we call miracles. That heaven sees it as irresponsibility. They just have to rescue your soul. So angels may come and rescue his feet, his feet from falling. But see, who sent him is the question. Who sent him to jump? Sir, who sent you to preach that message? Ah, Lord help me. I you understand? Who sent you? Because a brother offended you. A brother offended you. Then you get a very perfect message for it. He said, listen, so, so, some people. Are you hearing me? <laughs> they may be in the church. And they can be looking at you, but they are agents. You know what I'm telling you? Tell your neighbor, don't be an agent. No. No. But, but the question is, who sent you? I was in a place where somebody was preaching. He said, some of you that are here, you think you are somebody. You are nobody. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Everybody was saying amen. Whatever you think you are, you may not be. Praise God. Praise God. No, that you are adding praise God. <laughs> the question is, who sent you? Who sent you? Who sent you? And heaven is saying that, ah, oh, I gave you puppet to use it to fight. And you'll be judged. You, you may not know why heaven cannot trust you. Each time he gives you an opportunity to share, you use it for a fight. And every time you use it, there's a transaction, an exchange in the spirit. 
it looks like a normal prison, but heaven sees it as a man who has stoned a platform for revival to self-defense. And what we need is heaven's trust. So you see, if you give him more opportunity, he use it for himself. Ah, you know, you know, if you read this scripture in the genre, in the genre you see, ah, so that we can pray. You, you will see that the Bible says that and the devil left for a season. That means you still come back. For a while. Oh, for a while. He will still come back. It's a constant warfare. Constant every day, including me, as I'm telling you like this. There is a beginning. Every day there's a beginning. As you want to preach, there's a beginning. As you want to sing, there's a beginning. You want to sing special about God, say, who sent you? Ah, I know what I'm saying now. Ah, I know how God has to deal with me. Because I'm a keyboardist. You just come to a place there, the way they are playing. They are not playing well. They are not playing well. You just stand. Excuse me. Ah! Shut up. Excuse me. You play your best God. And heaven is saying, Abba, Steve, <laughs> who sent you? Who sent you? Who sent you? Let me want, want you, want. Oh, my dear Lord, let me. Hmm. Oh, dear Lord. That is how you design life to be loved. Help me not to be as I am not to be. Oh, love, take me to the place where I have no shock that is separate from your will. Oh, oh, love, take me to the place. Where I have no choice, choice that is separate from, from your shore, shore. Oh, to be lost in you, you is my desire. To be all for you is all I want. Oh, Lord, oh, take me to that place. Where I have no will that is separate from your will. Hey, oh, Lord, take me to that place where I have no choice that is separate from your choice. that I will preach for self-aggrandizement. Don't let me preach it. Because it is a waste in heaven on the balances. There are some of us here. Hmm. Hmm. What you call success is a trap. It's a trap. Every day you know it deep down in your soul that there's a transaction going on. There's a deeper calling. There's a deeper calling. But how can you let go of bread? How can you? Do you know what the Bible says? And when did I wish I could forget it. When the devil was done tempting. When he was done tempting. You know what it means to be done? Self, self, sit down. Let's have three temptations. 
the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Satan cannot, he cannot go beyond that. The lust of the flesh for satisfaction. The lust of the eyes for attraction. The pride of life for attention. Check the temptation of Eve, Adam and Eve. The same thing. Satan, Satan is a very faithful man to his calling. He has only three assignments and he has only three portals or gates. He come to steal, to kill and to destroy. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. When he was done tempting, because that is all, yours may not be the lust of the flesh. He may have overcome that one. But look, I mean, his husband was a loss of the flesh. Hunger. Satisfaction. Somebody's own is at the gate of satisfaction. Food. What to eat. You know that God is calling you to a place, but this where the job is here. And you say, Lord, don't worry. I will go there. I'll be sending money here. Because it's you I want there, not your money. You think it's money I don't have? You think it's money I don't have? It is you. It is you. And, and because, you know, because you want to, oh, I love that back God. Because you, 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 want to, you want to use God's head in the name of pleasing God. You are turning stone to bread and be feeding the poor. Mm. <laughs> be feeding the poor. But who sent you? When the time comes, the question will be, who sent you? Who made you a judge? Remember that statement? When they asked Moses, who made you? He has to go back to the wilderness experience. To answer, it took him extra 40 years to answer it. As that when he, did, he was doing gra gra, gra gra, gra gra, 40 years, he has energy, he has energy. And the question again, who made you? Yeah, he has to run for his life. When he became 80, old man, again, God said, okay, can we can talk now. But do you want to be 80 before you talk? There, I must be honest with you. Some of you are sending money to God's work. It's you God wants. It's you. You. So we can pray. So we can pray. Ah, last scripture. Oh, glory. Matthew chapter 5, verse 29. Ah, there's a scripture. Let, let me tell you something. You must, you must lose something. You must lose something to gain something. Every man will lose something. You see it now. Matthew chapter 5, verse 29. If your right eye causes you to sin, you do what? Block it out. What kind of message is this? And cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Verse 30. Verse 30. Ah, 30. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Look at me. That means there's a problem here. Transaction. You have between losing your right hand and your whole body. There has to be a loss. Somebody says, Sir, what can I do? What can I do? You know, what should I do? Ah, you, you know, as a pastor, I see this always. People are expecting you to say that, don't worry, keep your eye. Keep your eye. Keep it. So what, what if the person, the person, the person is this and that, and they want to pay my school fees, uh, what should I do? I have to do my, my admission or my schooling, and uh, so what should I do? 
and they want to leave you in a tight corner as if you are the, you are the savior of their soul. So, so tomorrow you say, you know, that I say don't pluck your eye, eh? does it justify it? He said, but thank God, my pastor will say I should not pluck it. You go to hell, sir. And, and you, you will now wonder, at this point, your pastor is also facing this because your pastor too has his own wilderness. He has his own wilderness. You think about it now. The man is the one paying her school fees. He's the one paying her school fees. And the man taking care of the family. The parents. If the, if the man leaves, the family will suffer. If the man leaves, this is a man that is luring her into immorality. If the man leaves, she will suffer. She will lose her admission. She will not go to school again. What should she do? A friend of mine was telling me one time, he went for evangelism and he met a lady that is a prostitute. And he wanted to preach to the lady. And the lady said, My parents, my dad and my mom died. They died. And our uncles chased us out. And nobody, there was no one to take care of us. And there's nothing else I could do. She was saying this thing and be crying. And there's nothing else she could do than to prostitute. What should she do? And this, my friend said, he looked at her. If he said, leave prostitution, he doesn't have money to give her. I can't say, continue prostitution. He left this guy in a tight corner. <laughs> I wish you can give that explanation when the rule is called up yonder. And say, Lord, you can't take me to hell. Remember, my father died, my mother died. I have no alternative. If I leave the man, I will lose my admission. Everybody will suffer. What should I do, Lord? And the Lord will now say, okay, okay, okay. I think your case is a special case. Your case is a special case. I think, please, angels, you can be with you. This man should go to heaven. <laughs> Sir, die. Leave that admission. Leave that. Let that right hand go. Let it go. What shall it profit? Your is admission. It's not even the whole world. <laughs> it's not even the whole world. Block it. What kind of message that block it? You see, you, there are things you must lose to gain some things. But you are looking for who encourage you. Who encourage me for it? These are times. See, there are things, there are decisions you must make that no pastor can tell you to make. It's between you and God. Because it's too, it's too personal. It's too personal. Okay, look at this prostitute now. What are you going to say? You Can you give up? Can you take care of our family? Can you take care of our family? Okay. Are you the one I go to say continue now? The guy just said, just cornered himself. Just oh. But sister, you need to understand the scripture. We are going to pray now. And some of you need to say, Lord, I am re- there, you, you know, there are things you need to let go. Nobody knows, you know. See, Lord, I am ready. Because there's a, there is a there, here is Jesus. Here is the alabaster box. Here is Jesus. Here is the alabaster box. Choose. Judas, choose the alabaster box. The woman broke the alabaster box one of one year with 300 denarii. He broke, she broke it at the feet of Jesus. Judas said, Ah! Ah! Abba! There are poor people out there now. There are poor people. You can't waste this thing on the kingdom. Kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. What are the poor? And the problem is that they are all, the poor will never see from the land. So if you have to attend all the, to the poor, all the poor people, you never see Jesus. She broke. The Bible will not say, she, the Bible will not say she, he poured it all. You know when you pour, you can keep the bottle. She broke it. That's why the day Jesus died, he said, I'm going nowhere. Because the man in that grave, I poured everything on him. Where was Judas? So, Judas, you want to, can't you see he sold Jesus? 
Let me ask you, what is the value of Jesus to you? How much is Jesus? The things you deny Jesus for is what shows the value of Jesus. But the, you know the issue? I wish you could have time to go and read I. You don't remember I? You know that there's a man who say, my soul, I will lay up the uh, expand my bands. I, I will gather the wheat. The Bible says, a certain man, he's, he's, he's whatever. There was a year that he had a lot, plentiful harvest. He said, I, I will pull down my bands. I, he's, in fact, he's, I know last Sunday we, we saw five eyes. He's always about six. And God said, Oh, you fool. You fool. This night, your soul is taken from you. Let me see who. You know the problem? Now you have the money, you don't have health. Satan will give you eyeglasses and take your eyes away. He'll give you shoes and remove your legs. Because here is a man that he has gotten everything now, but he doesn't have health. Solomon said to eat is a gift of God. That God gives you riches and wealth. And to have the ability to eat, he said, it is the gift of God. Only God can make him a man whole. Anything that comes from Satan has a hole. It comes with a hole. That business, as long as it's not given by the Lord, it comes with a hole. One day you wake up and say, Ah, where is all that I've labored for? It is gone. Satan cannot make a man whole. He only bore holes in the lives of people. I waste my life again now and again on you. On you. There is profit in the way on you. On you. What a good way to be wasted on you, on you. What a good way to be wasted on you, on you. Is there anyone here that will say, Lord? I would rather waste on you than live for the world. There are, there are some of you here, there are things you need to give up. Woo! On you! On you! What a good way! To be wasted oh, on you. People may be saying that you are wasting. Yes, I would rather waste on the Lord. A good way to be wasted. I will rather waste on Jesus. On you. On, on you. you. What a good, good way to be, to be wasted. wasted oh. On, on you, on you. Now listen. It appears like masturbation, but it's a transaction. Every time you do it, there's a transfer. How would three months of pressing in the spirit? You have got that capacity in the spirit. You have got that capacity in the spirit. Only you have reached that threshold, sexual threshold, sexual threshold. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. You think it now is a pressure, but it's a point of transaction. Then you do it. Transfer. But Lord, I am ready to cut it off. What a good way to be wasted, Lord. On you. On you. On you. Now, now, you are doing a job that you no longer have time to pray. It's a transaction. 
is an exchange. What is the exchange rate of your prayer life? What is the exchange rate of your prayer life? You no longer have time for prayer meeting because of a job. Are you telling me that when you measure your prayer life, your communion in the spirit, your fellowship with brethren, when you measure it, that job is, is it, it can equate it? It's an exchange rate. In the realm of the spirit, the exchange rate is different. To be wasted, Lord, on you, on you. What a good to be wasted, Lord, on you. Lord, I would rather be in the valley than to be on the mountain that the devil take me to. Let me suffer. Let me suffer. That you enjoy the pleasure of this world. I would rather suffer. On you. On you. Let the balitus kapata. Lord, I give you all. I surrender. There's a pelatoska. On you. I will some of this is the relationship. Block it by your right eye. Block it. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? are going to speak to God as a covenant. Lord, I give up on this. And there are people specifically you need to come to the altar and drop that right hand. That I, that thing that you cannot do without. But you are losing your soul. You are losing your soul. Heaven is saying, oh, Esau, Esau, for porridge, you can't see what is ahead. You can't see what is ahead. Come and waste on Jesus. Come and waste on Jesus. I have very short time. Some of you need to come and say, Lord, some of you may not even be looking like bad things. It could even be ministry. Yet, on the back of them, they can begin to compromise in the name of ministry. Now say, Lord, I hand over this ministry. I hand over this career. This career that is coming in my way. Or in your way in my life. Somebody says it's a relationship. But his transaction is ongoing. Bring it to the altar. Bring it to the altar. That thing that you cannot do without. Bring it to the altar. You are almost compromising. You are under pressure. Under pressure. And you are making decisions. Decisions. And sometimes you keep the name of God. But transaction. Because Jesus was taken to the pinnacle. I will 
would rather I would rather be in the valley than be on the mountain. On you, on you, somebody say relationship. Bring it to the altar. Running here and there by heaven, she's a dead man. Some of you, you can lose your soul in ministry. It is a ministry you lose your soul. So it is in peace. So this is in a relationship. But I surrender the ministry. I surrender the business. I surrender. I would rather be a failure in the eyes of the world and be a success. In the world. What a good world. What a good Try to bring me at the last time once more. Beloved of me, front cry to the Lord. Say, Lord, I would rather be a failure. I would rather be a failure than to lose my soul. You are coming to a in the name of money. That is a transaction. You are losing gradually. Gradually. Live here a little there. is in a temple. Uh, the prophet have I done wrong? I'm not doing bad things now. My dear, it's a transaction. On you, I waste my life again and again. On you,
transaction is ongoing. Before it's too late, can you cry to the Lord and say, Lord, I have gone far, but I come back. I come back, Lord. I come to you, Lord. What shall it profit a man to be the whole world? I have run after money. Relationships. I'm not out of business. But Lord, Lord, I have even gained the whole world, but I've lost my soul. I have not gained the whole world, but my spiritual life is gone. I'll never let go. I'll never 
saying emphatically that he does not know if it will be up to 50 years before Jesus comes. So you want to use the remaining years to waste on this word? Lord Jesus, the Lord that I have left, I waste them on you. I waste this life on you. Enough of trial and error. Can you waste a many life? Can you waste on Jesus? Can you waste on Jesus? Can you waste? Again and again, can you waste again and again? What if you, you are not successful? Can Jesus be enough? Yes. What if you don't end up getting married? Can Jesus be enough? Thank you, Father. Lord, we come before you as a symbol of covenant to say, Lord, we waste the remaining life that we have on you. We let go of that right hand that is pulling us to hell. Lord, some of us we are the pinnacle of our temptation. And we are saying, Lord, let your mercy rescue us. Let your mercy rescue us. Lord, there are some of us here that we are going to feel the impact of our decision. We are going to feel it. Some of us is going to be painful. Be Some of you are going to suffer hunger because of this decision. Yes. Yes, you will suffer hunger. But Lord, we are saying, give us grace for the wilderness experience. Grace, Lord. Grace, Lord. Grace, 
Lord, grace to hold on. Grace to hold on. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to Take my life and experience is necessary. It is necessary. It is after the wilderness that Jesus came out in power. In power. Don't touch. Don't escape it. Go through it. And you, the gold will come out refined. And I pray that the Lord will grace you. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will keep you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, the Lord Jesus has taken us. Let's burn our feet as we close. Be on our feet as we close. Thank you.